What's going on guys? Ryan Lawrence, Nashville Catfishing. Today we're going to do a how-to video on, on how to use spread on planer boards. So I had a couple of people ask me how I run my boards and how I run them in sequence and all that. So this is going to be our first how-to video. We're going to try to do a little series of them probably once a month or so, put something out there that's, that's strictly how-to. So if there's anything out there you guys are interested in, please leave a comment below and uh, we'll try to work it in the next few videos. So stay tuned. All right guys, so we're gonna do a little, little short little video on how I uh, set up my planter boards. So first, of course you got your dragon weights up there down to a float and your bait. So what I do first, I cast it out. Get the first one going, so we let her go, let her go until she hits the bottom. All right, so we've hit the bottom. You can feel go thunk, and it's the line stops. So now what I do is I just give a couple pulls to let a little bit more line out. That way, if the water goes down you have enough line and you're and you're not floating so once we got that and we come down here grab uh, grab your line grab your board and then these spread them have these little clips on them so you just put your line through the clip and then I use these twist locks and then the line just goes right in there you twist it lock it and send it so you send it out there, you know, this is your, gonna be your long board. You wanna do your long board first. So however far back you want that to go. What I usually do is I'll put it in the rod holder and uh, you know, let her go while I get the next one ready. So here's your next one. This will be your inside board. And uh, you just get her out there. So it is the same thing, you know, let the line go. So just hit bottom. Now I'm gonna give this a couple pulls. You know, yeah, I cast it out and give it, you know, a longer, a little bit longer line. You, know, you could drop to and do a, you know, down a 20 foot thing, and you want to make sure you're you have enough line out. So all right, we pulled, pulled a little too far now. Get all that straightened back out. Yeah. So we got enough line. So now do the same thing. Grab your line. Grab your clip, put her in there, and uh, now spot lock. Now my other one, my other one's out there. You can see it out there. I'm gonna clip it over. If it's too far, just reel it in a little bit. But what you want to do is, when you set them up in your rod holders, your long board needs to be on your inside because it's your far line out. And your next one needs to be, your short one needs to be on the outside. That way your your two different lines are not crisscrossed. And then if you're gonna run a third board, you would basically, this is gonna be my long line behind the boat. But if you were gonna run a third board, you would move this one here, this one here, and then your, your short one would go, your next one would go here if you're running three. Um, I do not run three on the Cumberland. It's because there's too much, too chance of hanging up on stuff. So I only run two. So we got that side of the boat ready. So we're going to come over here. And it's basically the same thing. You know, this is going to be your inside towards the bank. You know, throw it out there. I hope you can hear me through the wind. We got a little storm brewing up. So we're just we're trying to do what we got. And, uh, you know, just... Let her hit bottom. Down she goes. She just hit bottom. Give a couple, couple yanks out. And then, you know, we just repeat the process from the other side. I always put my long board out first. Get it out there, get it out of your way. And I put that before I put my long lines out the back. 
not on a board you know my boards are good i always put out first that way they can get out there and you don't got to worry about crisscrossing lines or tangling up you know you put a long your long line behind the boat out first your board might come over and, and tangle up in it so i always do boards first so we got that i'm gonna put that right in there let that go back and this is gonna be the same thing out she goes let her sink Mm -hmm. Line's coming out. Out, out, out. Oof. Just hit the bottom. Give a couple pulls. Grab your clip. Clip on. See, and the main thing you want to look at too, I guess I should have explained this in the start. When you toss your boards out, you always want your clip, whatever direction you're going, right or left side of the boat, your clip's always in the back and this is in the front. That's how you can tell which side of the boat. So if I grab the boards for the right side of the boat, it would, be, it would look like, this, you know, it just wouldn't work. So you just always want to make sure your clip's in the back and this is in the front before you toss them out and and get her out there probably sent that one a little bit too far but it's okay and then we'll let this one go out and then once again this side the same way my long board's right here i'm on my inside one my short board just went on the outside one so we're just a little short little rundown on how i use the boards and how i get them all laid out if i'm on bigger bodies of water like wheeler or like wilson gunnersville you know tennessee river area I'll run three sets of boards, but in the Cumberland, it's just too narrow and too snaggy. So it's only two sets up here. Sometimes one set depends on the area, but yeah, once you get her out, click her over. And then if they're clicked over, maybe you can see the board. You can see the, now the blue one's just setting. It's going to pull itself out. And now the shorter one, I usually keep a little bit of a densest distance between them. That way you're covering you know more water if you put them real close to one another they're pretty much running the same line and that doesn't do you any good but uh if there's any questions go ahead and comment at the bottom of this video and i'll try to explain it some more the best i can but uh thanks for watching all right guys i hope this video helped you out on a, on a little tips on how to run boards if there's anything i missed or any other questions please leave it in the comments if you like what you see um, don't forget to leave a comment on what you might want to see the next time we do a video like this. So, uh, thank you very much for watching. And if you haven't yet, go ahead and please subscribe or hit that like button. Thanks guys.